Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity. We're gonna do some buffs and shit, and we're starting a fight now. And I take my leave. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should Let's trust go. me when I say. I'm just gonna do it just because we want to start the fight. The fuck is this? A Bloodwind Demon, Charred Boat. What the shit is all this? And I just got shackled. The character will see damage when the original caster gets damaged. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't focus Evelyn right now, but how do I get rid of that? I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. YOLO. Let's go let's go fucking kill her then. All I'm saying is I got a charm arrow. All I'm saying is I'm gonna use it. I'm fucking going in here. Alright, let's see. What is Evelyn weak to? I can't fucking see anymore. The Charred Bone Lieutenant is weak to water. Are they all weak to water right now? They all appear to be kind of fiery, so maybe. Can maybe make it rain. That's uh, Cyclops Wizard. And uh, Demonic. Yeah, I'm gonna make it rain probably. Why make it rain? Uh, I, I can't make it with this person. Maybe if you freeze Evelyn. I can't. No, I'm nowhere close. I'm nowhere even near her. I, actually, I still can. So, uh, actually, I can freeze her, but I, I want to make it rain, though. I'll make it rain, then. Because it'll make them all more susceptible to air damage. And I could just static cloud them, I guess. I, I will freeze up uh, Evelyn, though. There you go. All the CCs. It's and my favorite movie. On, <laughs> on the, the big dude. Oh, fair enough. But he won't be able to do as much. Fucking hell, all the status effect shit, man. Love it. No. This is gonna hit Evelyn, but. It's fuck fine. You. I will heal myself. Actually, it doesn't do I that a little much. Bit. It doesn't do that much. It's something we have to keep in check, but she's never had that before, by the way, everybody. All right, now instead of doing my ricochet arrow, I'm going to do a static cloud arrow. I'm going to try to hit as many people as I can with this. Yeah, because they're going to like they're going to fuck us up next turn. That shouldn't hit you, but it might. Actually, I can hit there. That's actually better. Because then I the, the one that's already stunned will get stunned. Okay. I might stun the spider there, but who fucking cares? Actually, I care a little bit. Spider. Helping hand. Alright, good. Hey, the spider didn't get stunned. Nice. Wow. Okay, so what do I want to do with this guy then? I guess I'm just gonna hit this guy then. No, he's burning! He's fine. He's got like more than half his health. That's like, that's like half his spider. It's fine. Oh god, what is Medora gonna do? <laughs> Same thing Medora always does. Fucking mess. Gank up on this guy. Might as well. Let's fucking kill him. Oh wait, you bleed, so you heal the damage you took. <laughs> it's the fucking best. Alright, water, so don't fire this guy. We can air. That ram next to you is active. I know. I'm gonna pl I'm planning on killing him. Wow. <laughs> Did I just take damage from that? What the fuck? Yeah, he exploded. Okay, maybe didn't think that one through. Uh, drink a potion, dude, if you can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I don't actually have potions, but I do have, like, healing scroll. First aid scroll, myself. <laughs> I just gave you that, actually. Uh, resurrect scroll. Since my healing costs too much for AP points, uh, I can eat fries. Yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> there you go, that's the answer right there. I'm mm -hmm, good. No, le more constitution, though. It's a constitution buff. Alright, Joanne. What's Joanne got for us today? Uh, let's see. Don't have to do much with him. How about the... Should I focus down the... Well, given that everyone else is stunned, I think, just... Actually, wait. I fucking heals. So what am I doing? <laughs> probably what I should've done to begin with. I probably should've tried to hit someone else. Oh man, that static card made the water static eat you. Nice. There you go. 
I'm gonna finish off this uh, dude. Yeah. As if you can you can hit her, it's fine. Wow, that does a shit ton. Good thing I fucking healed myself. Yep. <laughs> Man, good thing I have constitution from those fries. Damn, making all the difference right now. All stuff is the char. Oh, the demon's up. Demon can move again. That's fine, but he'll just hit the spider. I don't think I should let him do that. Actually, let's see what I can do. How much HP does Evelyn have? Can you look at that? I'm just curious. Because I think I think it's like literally direct damage. Whenever whenever we hit her, it hits me. She has 855 and Fuck. seven 672 remaining. That's way more than I have for life, so I gotta keep healing myself. Just keep a stun that we can ignore her. Ah, right, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> fuck what? I stopped looking at my arrows while you, you told me that. You, you, you looked at your arrows? I'll see what I can do to this dude. Maybe if I just steam cloud him, it will... spread. No, that's silly. You can, you'll get vac banned if you steam cloud him. <sighs> you're right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. Uh, actually, can it be knocked down? Let's try that. Give him the grand, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the bigger they are. Let's shoot him in the dick. <laughs> shoot him in the dick. Yeah, eat shit. The poor guy. He's just knocked down and wet. See, I could finish this dude with Medora, or I could, actually, yeah. I'm gonna. You know, the ground is lightning. Just be careful about that. Oh, yeah, I know. Old. I'm not going to get close enough to fuck with that lieutenant. So I think I'll just kill this dude. Oh, you fuck fuck fucking idiot! Way. I you literally fucking just- Medora. I literally just fucking said something about it. I can't help that she fucking ran the wrong way! <laughs> I'm just going to focus on keeping my health up so we can hit Evelyn a bit more. Yep. Good All call. Right. Uh, I'm. She's still stunned, so I'm not gonna use any lightning attacks on her. She won't be stunned, though. I think she's gonna be unstunned next turn. Yeah, but she she still has to spend like a turn doing something. Freezer, I'd say. If you can't even. Nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna make fire happen. And the fire did not spread, or? Oh, the chains of pain is gone. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Then yeah, we can just fucking well on her now. Okay. We'll do that then. Why did that disappear? It had like two turns on it. I'm starting to wonder if this is like really bugged up, this this, this combat system or something. Because it keeps like, it keeps changing the order and things like that. Who the fuck even knows? Might be a little bit bugged up, maybe. Keeps fucking with the order of people. I think what I want to do here. No, oh, well, rail on Evelyn is what you said. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. For the big fact he's in the way now. Okay, well, let's fucking die. Face the unending darkness. Good amount of experience. Oh man, fucking Joanne's almost leveled. Oh Fuck. man, that means we're leveled soon as well. Fuck him up, spider. Yeah. Weak. Yeah, weak failed. Weak failed. Oh yeah. yeah. Ah, reflected, ah. reflected damage. It's okay. I have like a shit ton of healing on me. How much healing do I have right now? Yeah, it's, it's still, yeah, it's still a little bit more. All right, so let's do some, maybe some CC stuff. Maybe not. Maybe I should just kill this guy. Mm, I probably, I probably won't be able to finish him, but that's okay. No. Okay, so what we're gonna do... She does something anymore. Yep. <laughs> well, rip spider. It's fine. Only stun for one turn though, but don't worry, my, my person will come in and do some more shit to her. Do you want me to clean up that lieutenant for you? Yes, please do. Then I don't have to waste my time with him. There you, uh, what? Fucking hell! Nice clean up job, like one HP left. God, this is the last time I, I ever ask you to help move dead bodies. God. Oh, once again, my power stance didn't go. My stances aren't working again. Alright. Game's bug-free. Bug-free? Power stance isn't working? 
Yeah, my power sense went away, and then I tried to switch to precision stance, and it didn't do anything. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Uh, do I, I guess I'm gonna freeze her. Just, ah, uh, freezing failed. Oh, okay. oh dear. I got more. <laughs> stun failed. Uh, oh, she's already stunned. I think you'd stun once it, stunned. It, it, would, it would stun her some more. That would be the, the point. You know Unless what? she's not stunned. You know what? Fuck this shit. It's right here. <laughs> Good call, good call. Oh, uh, but she did. She's not fucking. That's fine, cause now I get a turn. Yeah, fucking. You wanna fucking knock her down or something? It's spooky. I don't want her to like oh, res everything time. back. It's like it's all afraid of as well, actually. Uh oh, <laughs> oh shit. No, it's fine. I got another one. Get on the ground. Yes. Oh, thank God. No spider. Rip spider. Now, see, the good thing about Majora being stunned is that she has a shit ton of action points. <laughs> Cripple failed. <laughs> Fuck. Fine, whatever. I should have done this first, actually, but whatever. Get on the ground. Does she have bully? I hope she does. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh. No, <laughs> fuck you. You know what? You know what? We're going to have to finish it off with fucking Firefly. Don't hit Medora. <laughs> nice. Oh shit. Oh man, resurrect scarf. I need that. Smelly scarf. Oh yeah. This guy's talking. Told me you had landed in Sarsil, drawn to my source little corpse that flies to excrement. Well, here I am, a man no longer, a monster instead. Unworthy of the conduit's crates. Counselor Jake, I presume? The very same. Jake, counselor by day, sorcerer by night, martyr in death. So you say you're a martyr, what do you mean by that? Me? Do you contest it now? You presumptuous dog. I died. Died serving the conduit. Leandra! Leandra! Oh, the same conduit. I'd have followed you till the end of time. But it wasn't to be. I was stuck down in the prime of my sorcery. And by whom? Leandra's own sister. The pox upon her. Uh, so you were killed by the conduit's sister? I, Ikara, Ikara. I spit on every syllable. They call her the white. She is powerful in her own right, but never would I have thought she'd challenge her sister Leandra and kill one of the most loyal. Me! Uh, okay, there must be more that you know about Akara. Very little indeed. What concern was that foul woman of mine? What witch, perhaps? The black sheep of her family, too. She shunned her sister's teachings. Can you believe that? She could have been the very conduit right hand, but she shunned her. Oh, take vengeance upon her, blessed Leandra. I invoke you. Open her veins, bleed her dry. Give her a function at last. Uh, tell me about your murder. My murder, a tale of woe. The time, a misty midnight. The place, the King Crab Inn. The players. Myself, Leandra, Ikara, and a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger, and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me and... Oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear. Whispered, finish him. The man lay on the floor, struck down and ready for my knife, which I plunged deep into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, Ikara burst through the window and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my life from my body 
and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr slain in the name of the conduit. Why did Evelyn resurrect you? Foolish grasper. She who thought herself the conduit's favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. Evelyn mentioned the resurrection of Brachus Rex. Do you know anything about him? Yes, yes. The king is dead, and not for long. Long live the king! For Brachus Rex has no equal hunter. His knowledge of the source is absolute, and through him so will the conduits be. The hour is nigh. You do not realize it yet, but his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> I take my leave. And I, I am of little use to Leandra's cause now. My worm-eaten rind is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose you'll not grudge me my portion of rest. I got a large speed potion? What the fuck? And why is... What did you give to fucking this guy? A lot of crafting stuff. He's he's over encumbered now. I noticed. What does the, what does the tormented scroll do? Okay, I'm gonna give you some stuff. I'm gonna sort by weight. Fucking wooden logs. Iron you ore. You can use them though. Silver ore. Okay, you gotta tell me how to fucking use this shit, because this is too much. Alright, also I have that glitch again where it uh, shows all always the combat highlights. I have to basically do this every time. And then, oh look, it's gone. I have to add highlights. Magic. Uh, so, we gotta figure out how to use the ore. I think it's a smelting thing. Do you loot everything here? I think so, yeah. Don't worry to check, though. Oh, apparently I leveled up, actually. Yep. Talents. Oh, I can get another talent. Okay, so for talents, let's have a look here. Um, I can do glass cannon. However, it gives you basically four extra recovery action points, but your vitality is decreased by fifty percent. Probably not a good thing for judging by the situations I find myself in. So that's that's another question. Uh, five star dinner doubles the effects of food. Kind of neat because those can give you some decent buffs. Uh, far up man increases range of spells by two meters. Very good. I actually probably going to do that. Uh, escapist, you can flee when combat is, uh, when, when people are next to you. I went to affinity, lowers action point cost by one when standing on the surface of Satan element. Not a good idea for me. You need to fear, but you can't flee from combat. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of skim through these. All skilled up. Two extra ability points to spend, now. You can do lone wolf, which means I'd have to get rid of Joanne. I'm considering it. Make me do it, motherfucker. Eventually, you can do know it all, which gives me an additional point in, in intelligence, but I don't know. I, I, attribute what? points are like dexterity and stuff, right? Why do I get like there's a all skilled up gives me two oh ability points? Never mind, that's different. Yeah. Zombie lets you heal from poison, but causes damage from regular healing. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. That's a bad call. I, I would like to add some character at some point because that seems amazing. Wait, wouldn't that mean? Wouldn't that be, actually wouldn't that mean all like the poison flasks like you drink those? Yes. And they heal you. Yes. And like that's stupid. You could do like a poison arrow in the middle of fucking Medora if she had it. But I can't heal you. Basically, is the thing. Yeah. Uh. Man, I'm looking at glass cannon. I shouldn't. <laughs> no, you're you have little health as it is. I'm gonna give it to. Uh, Joanne, but I'm not going to give it to this person. So I'm going to get far out, man, because I want to increase my, my range. Because two meters is a lot, considering the short range of most of my abilities. So that's what we're going to go for here. Uh, I still, I have to basically, we're going to have to spend some time in town figuring out what I want to level up here. I'm going to actually do that off screen at, when we go to town. Because I feel like uh, I shouldn't waste your time with that. Oh, and Joanne's going to get gl glass cannon now, because he's never in combat. But this is going to lower his health dramatically. 
but that's fine. That's fine with me. He still almost has more than me. That's the sad part, yes. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Alright, let's go talk. Oh, Joanne wants to talk. May the pain wrought by sword and sorcery stalk this stiff, stirring strumpet beyond the shores of death. Once more, we have stumbled upon an amateur. One who disfigures the pallid elegance of necromancy's visage with rank and vulgar imperfections. She dabbled with flesh like a child with its pudding. She was deaf to the screams of her victims as she made the scalpel glide through exposed limbs with the easy grace of birds through air. And for what? For nothing but to command death, the true necromancer. It is life he wants to command. Immortality. Achieve this, and the screams of agony will not have thundered forth from tortured throats in vain. They will be forgotten in the maelstrom of time eternal. But why, why doesn't Medora talk this much? Better. I suppose it would be go, go too far to obtain immortality even means pain death for others. <laughs> uh, I like your you afro. bicker amongst yourselves. And you have good reason to as long as you do not both realize that humanity is but a gathering of germs from which an exalted few may pluck the subject their studies require and vivisect them into oblivion while propelling themselves into eternity. Glory be this noble pursuit, tainted as it may be by the blunders of simpletons like Evelyn. Let us eradicate such vermin wherever we find it. Let us seal up every crevice it crawls from. But let us never lose sight of the higher purpose that the art of necromancy promises yet. So, now to pursue said promise with haste and determination. Death is a friend of time. Life is not. Okay. Way too, way too deep. Now I'm gonna go. So, what? He needs to talk again. My Parbatha's silver what the? talons. Must we linger? What? So? An idle brain is a demon's workshop, hunter. I notice you keep stressing our need to hurry. Why are you so pressed for time? I can tell you if you wish, but you'd have to listen to the tale of my life. Think no, I take more. my leave. I don't care. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I had enough of them. Alright, I'm gonna go sit in the chair. Good, good, good. Mm. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Dude, dude, can't I heal from this? I need heals. <laughs> so, um, if you guys didn't notice, this is a torture chair. Just take damage when you sit on it. <laughs> no, you can't out. You can't out heal it. <laughs> but man, I can try. <laughs> Holy shit! So it's got like uh, spikes on it and stuff. I, it doesn't even look that threatening, actually. All right. All better now. Uh, I'm gonna go just lie. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna lie down. Same what does even more damage? Well, obviously. Look, look at it, the spikes are much sharper. They're gonna make it even worse. <laughs> Lie down on the candles. Did you loot everything here, by the way? Yeah, I think so. If you want to check though. Desk empty. Good. I mean, I had a ton, ton of discussions. Oh, yeah. Oh, it hurts so much. Hurt me more, Snake. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back to, uh... Now. We're done here, guys. So we're gonna go back to go to Northgate here, and we're gonna update Arhu. Okay, you you know you know you're all the way in that cave, right? Still doing it? Yeah. You've done it, haven't you? Also, Arhu You've is here. You've discovered the fate of Councillor Jake. So I have. Let me get you up to speed. By the gods, no one could have predicted such a dark turn of events. This is worse than my deepest fears made manifest. It just cannot be that they aim to resurrect him. Bracchus Rex. It cannot be. Forgive me, this news just so very upsetting. This thing. It was the king of tyrants. The embodiment of terror. 
The lunatics that seek his rise must be stopped, whatever the cost. You say lunatics matter greatly to heart, are you? I, I do. I do indeed. Brachus would unseat the king of demons in sheer perfidy and malice given half a chance. For the world, for you and I to suffer his perversions once more is unthinkable. The possibility of his return is more than I can bear. And Ikara, that she has been dragged into this sorry business adds insult to insufferable injury. If these necromancers seek to resurrect Brachus, they must be gathering at his grave. Do you know where I should look? There have long been rumors that Brachus's corpse was interred in the vaults beneath the abandoned Church of the Seven in Sicil's eastern hinterlands. That place is crawling with undead these days, so the rumors may well be true. Where Leandra goes, the dead rise left and right. And even in death, the long-lost tyrant's corruption appears to persist. Come to think of it, did anyone in Evelyn's lair mention the name Cassandra? Ah, uh, Cassandra? Nobody named, mentioned that name. Why? It's nothing, Hunter. Nothing. My mind is reeling, but I... I'll feel better soon. After you've cut short Leandra's dark pursuits. Uh, why do you bemoan Urkar's involvement in all this? She is a great woman, Hunter. A champion of all that is good and pure. She may have killed Jake, but then again, the man turned out to be a vile sorcerer. I can only surmise that she is on to her sister's sinister schemes, which makes me fear for her safety more than anything else. We saw the leader of this cult, Leandra, a sorceress. Leandra. I know her, though I haven't seen her in years. As you know, she and Ikara are sisters. It's hard for me to believe that she's leading this cult. That she's delirious enough to go after Brachus Rex. But clearly her involvement can no longer be denied. She's as smart as ten wizards put together, Hunter. An opponent to be feared. Now, you said Jake and Evelyn called her the Conduit, didn't you? In that case, she may just be the elusive head of the Immaculates. What are the Immaculates? There's a village in the forests north of Sicil where a new religion has taken hold. Its followers call themselves Immaculates. And I've heard say they worship a leader called the Conduit. This village is called Silverglen. And if my suspicions turn out to be correct, there is sorcery at work there. Do you have any idea who the stranger might be that Jake told us about, the one that Leandra was meeting in the tavern? Alas, I haven't the foggiest. Another sorcerer, perhaps? Or simply another victim of Leandra's ploys? The Legion didn't find a second body at the scene of the crime, so maybe he escaped with his life after all. Though, just as likely, his body too was taken away by Evelyn for experimentation. We should continue our investigation. And I will see if I can find out more about Ikara's involvement. But in the meantime, please, please pursue Leandra to the old church in the east and stop her before she can raise Brachus. I beg of you. All right. Brachus wrecks his name alone. Hey, Mike. Hi. Quiet day on the market, it um, seems. Jahan, uh, there's a pair of braces here that give plus one to blacksmithing and crafting. I think he has something like that, doesn't he? Yeah, but I'm checking, that's what I'm asking. Uh, like, I know he has plus one to crafting, but does he have plus, does he have plus one to br uh, blacksmithing from braces? Uh, nope. No, he doesn't. So good. I also got a belt that gives a... Quiet day on the market, it seems. Okay. Oh, wait, didn't I? I gave you another, I gave plus one to crafting, didn't I? Uh, yeah, you gave plus one to crafting, not blacksmithing. But like, you just gave me a pair of braces that give you plus one blacksmithing. Yeah, not, not crafting, though. So you need one that gives crafting? I don't know. You can do whatever with that. But wasn't the whole point, like, keep these so that you can boost your hand's uh, crafting shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought you had plus right. one to both. Yeah, there's plus one to both. So you want that? Yeah, sure. I'll go grab that. Right, I'll buy it then. Finish up. We need to have a discussion. Apparently, apparently, no. We can't talk to each other because now it went away. Quiet, Dale. Oh well. Market, it seems. Fuck. We we're probably gonna have a discussion about that. Well, I shouldn't sell that. All that. Yours for a scrap 
smoke. Impatient Mike. Yeah. I just put that over there. Dude, what does my other one give me? One gives me head vice and one gives me... Uh, I've never used uh, head vice, have I? Oh yeah, it's right there. Head vice. Get your magical claws out. Deals 70 to 103 air damage. It sets blinded. But it costs 9 AP points. That's why this, this, these charges suck balls. Just way too much. But, well, yeah, I mean, you can save AP points for it. You hurry the fuck up. God I'm shopping! I, do you have anything to do with drag? Alright, well, guys, we're gonna do some... Uh, if we can't talk anymore, never mind. Okay, there's no point. Alright, uh, yeah, that, that thing went away. Good talk. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk to you about whatever Arlu did. But whatever, anyways, um, so we're gonna do some shopping on town. Because to, I need to figure out what to put my levels into. Uh, for like, because I, I have like four ability points saved up, so it's like, do I want to go into wands? Do I want to go into dual wielding? Maybe dual wielding, who knows? But I have some skills here, so I wouldn't mind getting some summons or something, so. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at that, so guys, so. Um, next episode, uh, we'll start somewhere in town and we'll show you what we've done. Uh, after that, so, hope you guys are enjoying. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.